Drop on this flexing nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. She told me, wait, be I say for sure. Baby, let me know if you want to eat. She like, bomb. You already know. Just put your girl on fleet. I'm like, cool. I can do that, boo. What you want some shoes? Jimmy Choo. What a handbag too. Red up, baby. But she get the smile. She ain't used to this. She ain't used to shit. I'm just laughing. Could have been up the way I put my lips. Boy, the G5 when we took a G6 and I know that we still on flight She know that she lit and we love taking risks and we bout to go somewhere tonight Young I'm one of bitches, a bitch and this bitch be the shit I'ma give her this pipe And I'm about to come, I'm up, I'm about to come and I'm gonna go viral We fucking for hours So it's Saturday night and I'm in the Uber and we were trying to go to the fair. Cute little, I got a cute little out fair outfit on one night. Okay, because it's a little brick outside. I have my little layers and stuff. So we get there. Boom, kaka, 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 pow. They're like, you gotta be 21 and over to get into the fair. What is this, the old heads fair? Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Or you have, they would say that you have to be, on the sign it said 16 and under need to be accompanied by an adult, but I'm not 16, so technically, grammatically speaking, they're saying if you're 16 and under, you have to be accompanied by a 21 year old adult. But when we asked, it was like, no, if you're not 21, you can't get in without somebody that's 21. So we finally did try to get in with whatever, whatever. And it's like five, it's, I don't know how many people it was, but then he was like, oh no, only four kids at a time, only four kids at a time. How you don't know if she don't got six kids? That ain't right, that ain't fair. But we just stopped trying because the man was just standing right there. He's going to obviously see us keep asking people to get in with them. And that's just OB and embarrassing and annoying because nobody's that pressed for the fair. But honestly, I did want to go to the fair because I missed the fair back at home. And I'm here and I wanted to go to the fair. And that's just BS to me. So, do you want to try another time? Maybe? Yeah. Go at an earlier time? Mm. Because that was annoying. But we're going to Cascades, and I know how to skate, but I don't know if she knows how to skate. I can skate. Because she was asking me, she was like, you know how to skate real good, you know how to skate real good. And I'm like, girl, I can skate. I ain't going to bust my tail, but I ain't about to be doing no flips and trips and dips and splits and mess. Nah, I ain't doing that. That's how they be in the videos and the reels and stuff on Instagram. It'd be so funny. Hopefully, I see the lady doing the splits. No. Yeah, <laughs> she be flipping and flipping and flipping. I'm like, girl, get up, girl, get up. But yeah, that's the update. It's 8 o'clock currently. It's, the night is still young. That's what I was trying to tell her. I'm like, girl, I do not want to go back to campus because I got dressed. I got cute for no reason. I'm not about to go lay back in the bed for nothing. You know? Might as well have some fun. So yeah, too bad though. Like, you look very mysterious. I'm crying out very mysterious. <laughs> Lots of communication on my part. Thank 
Day, and we're here with introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. I'm Anna. And this thing, like, what's up, gang? <laughs> yeah, we're at the agency <laughs> shoot. It's the new model photo shoot, yeah, and everybody's wearing brown. <laughs> um, I'll record more, but we're just walking to the. Huh? <laughs> what do you say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jabari. Why would you say that? Oh, you're going down, you're going down like saying. below hell. Hell is low. You're going lower. Like, Trust. You, think you thought you thought August was hot, nigga. <laughs> we took the pictures, y'all, and it's cold outside. How would you rate the photo shoot? Uh, oh, it was so cute. I rate it. It was a seven. Let's ask for the person passing out. <laughs> How would you rate it, Jabari? Bar? The aesthetic was a ten. Uh, the, vibe, the vibe was like a, this bitch. <laughs> the vibe was, a liar. This seg, what? You don't like the brown? You see, there's brown. Period. She, she, she messed up the. She messed up the color. But the vibes. I. You push your rebuttal. He don't even know what the fuck he's. You you supposed to wear new? You got all white. This is new. Yeah. This is new. And you got on black shoes. And you got on purple, like a brown purplish type of thing. It's brown. Like, brown is a part of the nude. Uh, it's a part of the spectrum. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, till the girl passed out. <laughs> Cut the camera, <laughs> dead ass. Good morning, y'all. I know I look crazy because I literally just woke up. It is 10 12 in the morning. And I just washed my face and brushed my teeth. So today is Hump Wednesday, but that's not the only thing that's happening today. So my school has Jada Wada and Pretty Little Thing coming today at 12, I mean at 11. So I'm about to get ready. Um, I don't know if like she's coming at 11 or if they're just like starting at 11. But I still want to be ready anyway because I have to get up. I don't have some stuff to do today, so. There's that. Um, it's a great day so far. I literally just woke up, so I have no complaints about anything. But yeah, I'm just getting my life together. I'm gonna try something fix. I'm about to go to my room to find something to wear. And then, I'm going to be good, you better with you. I want to take off these lashes and do a different do different lashes because I don't really like these honestly like I don't know but these are just like too curled like you see like this eye is cool but it's just like it's this eye that's like throwing me I don't know y'all I really don't know but yeah and I want to go to Hump Wednesday because they're announcing a homecoming lineup today too but like I don't have nobody to go with because I don't hang out with nobody no more. So there's that. Um, do the camera real quick, some, some quick. But yeah, so I really don't know. I really don't know. But I might not go, because people be like, it's really not all that, like, hump I, I've been to, like, a hump, but I wanted to go to this one just because they was announcing the homecoming on it. That's the only reason why I wanted to go, honestly. I but I'll be all right about going. I don't think I'm going to go to hump and say, I highly doubt that I will. So, there's that. I think I'm going to dye my hair soon. <laughs> but, I don't know. This is, I just got vibes going on right now. Life is just a vibe. 
It's a vibe. It's a vibe. He's like on white. He's like washing me out. The background, the shirt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to redo these lashes or something. Cause it's not giving what I needed to give. But it's okay. There's beauty in the imperfections. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this eyebrow looks good. This eyebrow, this eyebrow, I don't know what she doing. She got a mind of her own good. And don't want to be tamed. And that's cool, I like but. Okay, I'm about to put my earrings on and then it's 10 15. I'm about to put my earrings on. We can head over to my room to find something to wear. I don't know what kind of like vibe I'm going for. Let me see what the weather is. It's gonna be cold today, so I have to wear something cozy. I know I do all that cold mess. I'm just not for it. Let me find something to wear. Go on Pinterest. Give up to see like a vibe that I want to go for. I do want to do sweatpants. So. I want a, um, a skim, like a long sleeve skim shirt. That's what I need. TBH. I might just, I have black sweatpants and I have this black farmer jacket. And I might just wear that and wear like a colored shirt, like a colorful shirt and then wear my, um, I got these white shoes. Either that or wear all black and then wear the, um, the whatchamacallit, the shoes. I need like a color bag. A little colorful purse or something. But I literally just changed my bag from my pink one to my black one, so that's pretty funny to me at least. Yeah, I figured it out. I don't got time. I have to be back here by 7.50. And then, yeah, so I'm going to talk to you when I'm in my room. And I need to get one off. What the heck? I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. I'm about to head to my room and then I'm going to talk to you when I'm in my room. People in line already. It's only 10.20 in the morning. They really biting. Like, they said I'm not fucking playing. Look, he's really in that line. Like, yo, it's only 10.20 in the morning. Shit. They say, yeah. Baby, we's going to be with pretty little thing. It's like, but it's a cute little bus. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta find me something cute to wear. Too bella. Too, too bella. And I got this, I hate this part of my hair where it be like knotted. Not knotted, but it's like a little bump. I need my silk press to be silk pressing. Oh my, it's like, let me stop. I'm not even from DC. Bye, y'all. This is what I have on. My new slip shirt, so super cute. Just some sweatpants. Something easy, simple for the girls and the gays and the thems and the days. Guys, look what I got. Ooh, okay, too bad, well, love. Get into it. Wow. So nice and moisturized and buttery. I got too many hoes I can't hang you You like to put that shit in your nose But I still love you Be doing shit that nobody knows In the streets they be thinking you're a lady But at home oh, If you ain't nasty don't at me I've been working all day yeah, so this is editing me. 
So basically, I never told y'all what happened after I went to the the pretty little thing pop up. So I went to the pop up. It was real cute. It was real. It was fun. It wasn't nothing too too much. Wait, did I tell y'all what happened? Hold on, let me go back because I'm geeking. So I didn't tell y'all what happened. So I went to the pre pretty little thing pop up. Ooh, my neck. Ah. I went to the pretty little thing pop up, and Jada waited came. It was real cute. It was real nice. Um, but the only thing was like y'all, everybody was like going crazy over Jada like they was like screaming it wasn't even that many people but they was like screaming the pretty little thing workers they was like getting mad at us they was like no no stop no more people are going up to her blah, blah, blah. she's gonna come around she's gonna come around and then I'm sitting on the sidewalk the whole time because I'm not about to get trampled I'm not about to run up on Jada and try to be try to literally they was like putting their phones in her face like here 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 like she's still a person that that's weird to me but no, I was standing on the sidelines and I was just watching and everything. She's very small. She's shorter than me. And if you know me, you know that I'm small. And so, yeah, um, I was standing on the sidewalk because she's about to leave. And this guy, like, he just comes and, like, literally pushes me off. Like, he's big, big, wide, and big, tall. Like, he, he was thicker. He, like, pushes me. I'm like, damn, nigga, like, you trying to, you trying to see Jada Wynn so bad. Like, move, bro, move. I understand I'm little, but she's smaller. What the? What are you going to do? Honestly, what are you going to do? Because she has security with her, so it wasn't like people just had open access to her. We wasn't going to do nothing to her, but it was just annoying because everybody was like trying to get to her, trying to get on her, and she's not even that big to be doing all of that, first of all. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Hey guys, so it's later on. It's 7.57. Y'all, yeah, today was pretty good. I always fuck behind me like, God oh, damn, why are you talking so loud? Let me try to hurt Mooba. Okay, but anyways, I'm about to go eat. I'm hungry. I had a day. Like, I, I only had one class, though, but today was kind of busy because I had work to do and stuff. I'm lucky out of breath. It's raining outside, but it looks so cute outside, guys. Like, the rain is giving a vibe. But yeah, I'm about to go eat, so I'll show you guys when I get to the calf. Look at how like pretty it is outside, guys. Mm. Okay, vibes, spelly vibes. You'll see your song, guys. Y'all, so it's like days later. I'm editing this vlog, but I wanted to sit and chit chat. I don't know, but I just feel like talking, honestly, because it's the ooh, it's the fourth quarter of 2023, and we're about to hit first quarter. Of 2024 in three months, y'all, and I really just feel like this year has been so many ups, downs, trials, tribulations. <sighs> this year has been a lot, but I'm grateful nonetheless. But I really just wanted to sit here and just talk about how I don't really know what I want to talk about, but I know what I want to. I know that I want to talk. You know. Mm. Look at my lashes, y'all. I love doing my own lashes. But I honestly really just, I feel like I have so much in store for 2024 and even the rest of 2023. I really feel like 2023 was my year. Like this was probably the best year that I've had in, that I can even remember. This has been truly um, a blessed, a blessed and highly favorite year. Like honestly, I went through so much. I overcame so much. I accomplished so much. And I feel like everything is, everything is right right now. Like 2023, everything has been just so right. Whether it was I was going through bad times or whether I was going through good times, I felt like everything that was happening in 2023 is for a greater purpose that I have in 2024 that I can't see yet. But I know that God has it in store for me. And even if I can't see something, I always let God lead the way. My ancestors lead the way. My spirit guides lead the way because... They have greater for me than I can even imagine for myself right now. And I, I just, I have faith in that. So that's why I try not to like worry too much or I try not to stress out too much because everything that's meant for me is going to be for me. I'm going to have it. So it's, and I'm going to have it at the time that I'm supposed to have it. Even if I want to have it right now, it's not meant for me to have it right now. But when I get it, that'll be the time that it's meant for me to have. It. And I have to understand. It. And I took some time for me to understand, but I feel like once I understood that, I was able to, I don't know, just relax a lot more and 
just do what I love a lot more because I'm always I have always been like a stressed person doing a million things at a time but 2023 I really took a step back and we're still doing things that I love but in a healthier manner I don't really don't know how to have my camera but in a healthier manner and I'm grateful that I was able to you know discover that part of myself and I'm really just excited for 2024 overall and the end of 2023 because I gotta come in this mug full of throttle gotta go out with a bang go bigger go home like hello Yellow. but yeah hmm. if you guys have any goals you know you guys can put them in the comments but a goal of mine for the rest of 2023 is to remain consistent remain disciplined and just shoot for the stars because i feel like when i don't have anything to look forward to which is i always have something to look forward to like even if it's something small throughout my day i always make sure i have something to look forward to so i can have a reason to push so i can have a reason to keep going and i feel like that helps me a lot when i'm down in the dumps i always try to look forward to better days so i work towards better days you know what i mean i don't want to sit in that sadness or in that funk for too long because then i let it engulf me and i don't like that feeling nobody likes that feeling you know so having things to constantly look forward to doing the best that i can asking for help when i need it because i'm the type of person that will not ask for any kind of help i would just let myself yeah that's also because i've come, i grew up around independent black women so they never asked for help for nothing so i, I it, uh, uh, what can i say honestly but yeah i'm dying my hair soon guys so that's gonna be a video coming up let me look at my calendar because i know that i'm dying it but Mm. Chum, high school is so like <sighs> anyways so it's the 13th it's <gasps> it's Friday the 13th y'all oh my god so spooky <laughs> anyways um oh my god I'm dying my hair sooner than I think I am I need to order my Ooh! I'm ready to be a brand new on the mic you can't with me cuz I'm dynamite oh dynamite I'm on like dynamite but I don't know you can't with me cuz I'm dynamite why my dad told me to come down here and pursue a rap career and my rap name gonna be Lil Nemo he's so oh my neck ow yo I've been sleeping so weird like my whole my body just been I don't know. But like I said, I'm really just talking. I have nothing to actually talk about. I just want to sit in here to talk. So I hope y'all enjoy my little rant. Oh, I got something else I'm going to talk about. Y'all, I really feel like I've been discovering more of myself in college. Like, I discovered parts of myself in high school, of course. But I feel like college, I'm really discovering more parts of myself like who i want to hang around who i don't want to hang around the kind of people that are meant for me the kind of people that aren't meant for me what i want in a friendship what i don't want in a friendship and stuff like that and this is kind of like hitting home because all my friends that i've like made friends with ever we always stay friends so for me to be like kind of shaky on some people this is all new for me and college is new for me too so, it's really just an experience. I don't know. But, I'm going to call it this video because I'm just talking at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my rant because I was just talking, child. Literally just talking. But, yeah, I can't wait to, to keep going on my college journey on my YouTube channel. I really feel like this is the best way to, like, document my college years and keep it up. Because, like, the internet lasts forever. So, yeah, I can't wait to look back in a couple of years and watch my videos and be like, dang, oh my gosh, like this really happened. I looked like this. I was at this place. Now I'm here. I feel like YouTube for me is really just a documentation of my life that I want to share with like other people. And of course, I share what I want to share. I don't share everything, but yeah, I don't know. I really find YouTube very fun. It's very, it's very fun. Like you get to share a piece of yourself to the world that you don't really get to share on like TikTok or Instagram and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my channel. And I thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.